This is Margaret Crosby at Pace Consulting, and I'd like to show you how you can issue 1099s at the end of the year through a few simple setup steps. First, go to Edit, Preferences, and go down to the bottom where it says Tax 1099. Select the Company Preferences tab. Make sure the button you file 1099 miscellaneous forms is selected, yes. And we're only going to talk about box 7 today, uh, non-employee compensation. Um, there is a $600 threshold. That means if you paid a particular person less than $600, you're not required to send out a 1099. You do have to map your general ledger accounts if you pay your subcontractors or you know whoever, um, you must select the account you're going to pay them out of. And for now, we're just going to choose subcontractors. And that's it. And you're going to say OK. Now the important thing is to set up your vendors. And we're just going to pick one here and go in and edit that vendor and under additional information there's a button that says vendor eligible for 1099 um, and this is where you're going to need to collect their social security number also it's very important to have the correct address um, for your vendor um, because you will get a letter from the IRS seeing if there is a discrepancy. And once you do that for all of your vendors, um, you're all set to um, print out 1099s in January.